What's going on guys? Today I want to introduce my first course and it should offer a lot, a lot of value to you, especially if you're into making your own games, learning how to make apps and take advantage of this huge, huge app market that's exploding right in front of our eyes. But first I want to say thank you for checking out my introduction video, even though you haven't registered for my course yet, you're not a student. I want to say thank you for taking the time to actually look at the video. So without further ado, I do. I want to go over what you will be getting out of this course and how you would benefit from it as moving forward in your app development career. So the first thing is we're going to be making simple games for Android as the title says and we're going to be using something called and engine which is a free open source engine uh, developed by Nicholas Gromlich who is an awesome developer and is free. So in this course you will pretty much learn the structure of the and engine development process and you'll be making a cool little game as you can see here at the bottom right of the screen it's a cool little platformer game a runner game and it's use, it uses physics as you can see uh, it's easily reskinable uh, ad mob integrated video instructions documentation all that good stuff so pretty much you can take this code and you can reskin it if you want and make your own game if you want so and it also has physics so for example if the player jumps he will fall down in the little hole right there and the level will end the coins he can pick those up the clouds he can jump on top of them so it's all physics so in this course you'll learn about importing required libraries organizing assets such as your graphics sounds fonts you name it any type of assets you learn about organizing them and importing those and loading those into your game and how to use those You'll also learn the basics of Box2D physics engine, creating bodies, physics worlds, setting gravity, and setting your static or dynamic body types. You'll also learn the basic concepts of and engine, how to get started quickly in development, how to dive into it quickly without wasting time, trying to learn you know, entire, the entire engine. You'll pretty much learn what you need to know to get started and build the game you want to build. And the fifth thing is you'll learn how to create a simple physics runner style game. Um, what better way than to learn by actually creating something that you enjoy playing and creating and you can see it. I don't really believe in learning code just line by line learning different things, but I believe in learning code and actually implementing it as you learn it. I believe this is a powerful learning structure that everyone benefits from and especially me during my first early days of development. I, uh, I I benefited from actually demonstrating coding, which what I actually studied, and that's the best way to learn. So I hope this course, uh, I hope this introduction, has gave you given you all the information you want you need to know as far as what you'll be learning in this project in this course, and I hope that you find this appealing to what you want. And if you if you're thinking about developing a physics game or a any type of end engine game. Uh, most popular games today have physics, so physics is like the number one thing all most games today have. So if you're thinking about using physics, this, physics, this is the course for you, and I hope that I see you on the inside. Thank you.